We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hello, tonight we are live and we have some very special celebrity guests. They are Eamon Holmes, Sir Alex Sutton, Caroline Quentin, Carol Baldwin, Becky Adlington and Keir Egan. Let's play a very festive Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Very live. Who wants to be a millionaire? Now, waiting in the wings, we've got some great guesses. Have you seen? All hoping to win one million pounds, and that'd be great to have one more million. And it will be an amazing Christmas for one of you at home, as half of all the money our celebrities win tonight could be yours just by answering one question correctly live at the end of the show. But let's get straight on and bring out our first team. Will you please welcome Eamon Holmes and Sir Alex Ferguson? <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you two? Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. you Very festive. This? You ready for this? Four times you've been in. Yeah. <laughs> Have you, do you think you've mastered it? <laughs> <laughs> you can never master, master this. They're all easy. If you know them, they're easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But we appreciate you turning out in club colours tonight. It's actually a present from Arsene Wenger. <laughs> <laughs> so, tonight, as well as playing for one of you at home, Eamon and Sir Alex are hoping to win tons of cash for their chosen charity. They're both playing for the Manchester United Foundation, which works with disadvantaged young people to educate and motivate them through football. Now, backstage, Caroline and Carol, uh, Becky and Kian are playing along on their keypads, looking um, absolutely terrified. Right, Eamon and Sir Alex are now just 12 questions away from £1 million. They have the usual three lifelines, they have 50-50, they have phone a friend, and, of course, they can ask this very excited live audience. So, the first seven questions, up to £50,000, played against the clock. And for the first two questions, they will only have 15 seconds. You ready for this, Alex? I'm ready. You ready, Eamon? Okay, we're ready. The captain's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> so, question number one uh, is for £500. I'll read the question, then I'll start the clock. You'll have 15 seconds. Here it comes. Complete this line from Wham's classic song, Last Christmas I Gave no, no, You... <laughs> Start the clock. My heart, fine art, a la carte, some tart. Uh, the answer is A, my fine heart. Answer. Final fine answer. answer. I don't believe I'm asking Alex Ferguson a Wham question. <laughs> it's the right answer, you've got £500. Pounds. Yeah. Oh. Last point at which you could go home with nothing at all. It won't happen, but uh, I have to say that to you. You have three lifelines. Use them, even though it's early. Use them if you have to. This should guarantee you £1,000. Question number two is this. On Sunday, who was crowned the 2013 X Factor winner? Start the clock. Sam Mendes, Sam Bailey, Sam Neil, Sam Fox. B, Sam Bailey, final answer. Yeah. yeah. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> So that's a guaranteed £500 for their charity and £500 now to kick off that uh, viewer prize pot. Eamon and Sir Alex now have 30 seconds to answer the next five questions. How are you feeling, Sir Alex? Good. Because last time you went away fed up. Oh, yeah, I was... devastated. It was a really hard question. We've got, we got great 64,000. I know three, you did. Three lives left. We can do it. Yeah. Yeah, every, time I've seen, every time I've seen you since, you've mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> He's come out of retirement specially for this tonight. Do you know that the, the, the lad who knew that was our gardener? Really? He knew the answer. Well, you should have said gardener person. and said that. <laughs> Phil, phone a friend. Do you, have, um, do you have a sort of aim tonight? Because I know you're a very competitive man. Do you have an aim, you two? Well, for the charity, you want to get as much as you can. If we got to 50,000, we'd be absolutely over the moon. 
OK. But we'll take anything. Is it true? Because we'll <laughs> you are an incredibly competitive guy, obviously, this is why you've done so well. You also... You love quizzes. Yeah. Is it true that at the Ferguson Christmas lunch, you have a quiz, a family Absolutely. quiz? It's, it's uh, very competitive. I can imagine. <laughs> the father's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> who's, um, who's the host for this quiz? Do you do my bit or do you do answers? Oh, think... No, we, we get one of the grandsons to do the questions and the three sons batter out mm -hmm. with me. So it's quite competitive. We do a lot of different quizzes, you know, sport, yeah. general knowledge. It's good. Okay. It's good. OK. Right, you have £1,000. That's guaranteed. Question number three is for £2,000. You have all three lifelines. Here it comes. Which of these completes the name of an English football club in Sheffield? Well, what are the chances? <laughs> completes the name of an English league football club in Sheffield. Right, start the clock. You've got 30 seconds. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday? <laughs> Can we say C Wednesday? I think you can. Final, Final answer. answer. It's Thank the right you. answer. Yeah. Question number four is for five thousand pounds. You still have those lifelines. Have a look. What new minimum hourly wage for over twenty ones was introduced in the UK in October? Start the clock. £4.31, £6.31, £8.31, £10.31. I think it's B, but I think we should ask the audience. <coughs> <coughs> Let's ask the audience. OK, stop yeah. the clock. You'll have 14 <coughs> seconds left, uh, Eamon and Alex. I, I think... Now, audience, on your keypads, please, then. First lifeline they've needed. What new minimum hourly wage for over 21s was introduced in the UK in October? Now, A on your keypads is £4.31. B is £6.31. C is £8.31. D is £10.31. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Two per cent say four. Eighty-three per cent say six. Thirteen per cent say eight. Uh, Two per cent say ten. Restart the clock. What do you want to do? I can hear my right. kids shouting this to me through the television. I trust think the audience. Trust the audience, yeah. Let's trust the audience. Yeah. Why? Final answer. Why would... They look very, very intelligent to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> It'd be awful if they were wrong. Uh, it's the right answer. You've got 5,000 pounds. Question yeah, number yeah, yeah. five is for £10,000. You've got to phone a friend. You've still got a 50-50. Have a look. Still got 30 seconds. You're three away from 50,000. Here it comes. Notching up more than 21 million copies, which of these has sold the greatest number of cookery books in the UK? Start the clock. Rick Stein, Nigel Slater, Delia Smith, Nigella Lawson. Yeah. Um, C. C. Delia. Final answer. Why Delia? Because Delia is the one and only. She's the original. She's the goddess. She teaches you everything, including how to boil an egg. I, I just think I know I know all these guys, and I I think however good they are, I just think she held the record up to a few weeks ago. Well, you, well there you yeah. are. You know that. Do you cook, boss? No, that my book beer for the first time. Right, well, there you are. So I hope I'm right. It's the right answer. You got ten thousand yeah. pounds. Going along fine, doing very well so far now. If you fancy being in with a chance of grabbing half of all the cash one tonight, plus some amazing presents, amazing presents, delivered in time for Christmas next week, all you need to do is answer one, caress, uh, one question correctly live at the end of the show. Take a look at this. For your chance to win a Samsung Galaxy S4 phone, an iPad mini, a digital DSLR camera, a MacBook Air, a Sony PlayStation 4 games console, a Mulberry handbag, a Panasonic Vieira 3D TV, a Furby Boom, two Testra dogs, a Scalextric set, plus half of all the money won tonight. Call now and we could be talking to you at the end of the show. From a landline call 090-3959-5315 or from a UK mobile call 60315. 
Lines are open but will close later in the show. Mobile and BT landline entries cost £1.50. Other landlines may vary. Please do not try to enter if you're watching on Plus One or On Demand. You can also enter via the website where you'll get a number charged at the standard rate. Entrants must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close later in the show will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. to this very live Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special. So far, Eamon Holmes and Sir Alex Ferguson are on a very respectable £10,000 and waiting backstage for their turn in the hot seat, which may be a while yet, are Caroline Quentin, Carol Vorderman, Becky Adlington and Kean Egan. Fresh back from the jungle. Would you do that, Eamon Holmes? <laughs> no, come on, would you? This is scary enough for me without doing the jungle, I think, no. Fergie, now you've got a bit of time on your hands, would you? I was yeah. just coming out of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How many of your players used to eat kangaroo testicles before a match? <laughs> oh, no. One or two, probably. <laughs> Half time. Come on, then. Good luck, guys. Thank Let's you. take a look at the next question. You've got £10,000. <coughs> question number six is for 20000 You've still got to phone a friend. I'm very interested to see who Sir Alex phone a friend, sir. And you've also got a 50-50. Have a look. Question number six, 20 grand. Here it is. Margaret Thatcher regularly had Carmen listed in her daily diary indicating an appointment with her what? Start the clock. Housekeeper, press secretary, travel agent, hairdresser. I think it has to be hairdresser. Um, but, I, but I think we should phone a friend on this. Hmm? Phone a friend. Just keep it the end. Well, phone a friend. OK, I'll stop the clock. You have 15 seconds left, guys, OK? Uh, you could uh, still use a 50-50, and I will tell you again, you could still take the money. £10,000 is a lot of money for your man new charity. Right, who are we going to call? Let's have a look at your friends. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I will tell you, as always on these live shows, because tonight we are live, we have all our celebrities phone and friends guarded and under lock and key, bless them, because they have no inter uh, internet access, no TV access, no search engine. So wherever they are, they are completely in the dark. So uh, let's have a look. Well, I know Paul. I used to work with Paul. Eamon, who have I got? Um, well, well, we've I got, got Paul, Paul Ross. Ross. Uh, Paul Ross knows everything about everything. Um, John Lawrence here, uh, who works at the Daily Telegraph and used to work with me at Sky News. He's, he's, he, he would be heavily into his politics. politics yeah. And then Jonathan. And Jonathan's more than music, uh, classical in particular. Okay. Right. Who are you going to call? I think you. I, I could yeah. I, either Paul or John. Um, I'm going to get. I'm going to. I'm going to try John. Okay. Not Paul. Okay. Right. We found John. Where's John? Where is he? I I hope oh, he's locked home. up. But no, I wonder, I but he's locked, he's up locked up somewhere. I never quite know where he's people are. He better be at home. <laughs> but he's at home, but they literally have people guarding over him, so they can't watch the telly and stuff. In okay. Daily diary. Um, okay. Hello. John. Hi. Chris Tarrant, good evening. We're live on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire at about uh, 18 minutes past nine o'clock. Now, uh, I've got Fergie here, I've got Sir Alex, and I've got Eamon. They're doing okay, they're on £10,000. They're stuck on a particular question for 20 grand. They're hoping you will know it. All right, John. OK. Next voice will be Eamon's. He will tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. Eamon, fingers crossed, your time starts now. John, Margaret Thatcher had Carmen, the word Carmen, listed in her daily diary, daily, indicating an appointment with her what? Housekeeper, press secretary, travel agent or hairdresser? Um, hairdresser. Definitely. Um... Ooh. I'm pretty sure. I'm not yeah. definite, but I Okay, would let's say... stop the clock. Thanks, John. Thank I'm not, you. I'm not definite. Bye. Okay. You start the clock. I think 15. it has to be hairdresser. We'll go for that. Carmen Rollers. There were Carmen Rollers. We're going to go we're going to go with John, fingers crossed. D hairdresser. Final answer. Final answer. You just won twenty thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say to John Lawrence, John, that was your get out of jail card. <laughs> John was a phone a friend uh, before. Um, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Not, not it so didn't good. work out as well the last okay. time. Somebody say. 
Sir Alex Ferguson there, for the first time in many years, was looking distinctly worried. OK, you have £20,000. Now, big old drop here if you give me a wrong answer and you join rather a select band of famous celebrities who've done this. Um, I can't mention the names. Wogan. Now, you have £20,000. <laughs> Question number seven is for £50,000. If you get that, and I know you would be thrilled to get that, that would be the minimum amount you would have won tonight. You have one lifeline, you could use that and you could still take the money because 20 grand is a good old result. But have a look at the question. It's the last one against the clock. If you get there, you get another lifeline, you'll get switched. Here it comes. What has been the most common surname in Britain since civil records began? Start the clock. Jones, Taylor, Smith, Brown. Smith or Jones? Smith. Do you want to go 50-50? Yeah, we'll have to go Yeah, 50, right, stop 50. the clock again. You'll have 21 seconds, you can still take the money. Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Sir Alex a name and the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Jones or Smith? Restart the clock, what do you want to do? You can take the money. I think. Smith? I think go Smith. Right, we're going to go final answer. C. Smith. Squeaky bum time. <laughs> It was. I will tell you the right answer is £50,000. You've just given me the right answer. Smith is right. <laughs> So, Eamon and Sir Alex have reached that £50,000 milestone. That means that's the minimum amount they've won to share between their charity and one lucky viewer. And I bet that'll make a big difference, actually. Now, they are no longer playing against the clock, and they have earned that extra lifeline switch, which means they can now swap a question yeah, they don't good, like. And at this moment, you are just Don't five questions away from £1 million. Pounds. You look very, very happy, you two. <laughs> As you should. As well, you should. The way to know. <laughs> right, question number eight is for £75,000. You have no other lifelines, but you can switch. Uh, have a look at this. Question number eight of 12 is this. Which of these creatures has three hearts? <laughs> <laughs> no clock. Oyster. Jellyfish. Seahorse. Octopus. You think seahorse? I think I got this question before, that question before. I see what says him. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to speak up, sorry. Up. Just speak up. Speak up, yeah. I'm thinking seahorse. But, um Do you want to switch it? Well, I mean, the truth I'm is... Not, I'm not 100%. You got 50,000 guaranteed. An oyster, I, I couldn't imagine there's any hearts. Um, <laughs> A jellyfish, maybe. Possibly, yeah. An octopus, possibly. Do you know octopus what? Octopus have got what? Uh, tentacles. You think seahorse, but <laughs> why not switch it? I think we'll switch <laughs> Just it. Just switch it. Can you? Yeah, switch it. Switch it. OK, let's get rid of it. Out of interest, the right answer was actually octopus. Well, it was a good switch. It was a very good switch. That was a tactical substitute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that like a bit of luck? <laughs> right, let's get rid of it. Now, see if you like this one. So you have no lifelines left, guys, but this is for £75,000. You should play it no matter what. You can't lose on it. In which of these countries do residents pay half the usual amount of tax in December so they have more money for Christmas? Well, not in this country. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, Norway. Switzerland strikes me as the sort of country that no. would do that. It yeah, would... Switzerland's the type of country. Yeah, you, yeah. you would think so. They're sort of financially friendly. No, the only thing in Norway is, in Norway is um, it's, it's an expensive place, Norway now. Yeah. I'm just wondering if mm -hmm. that's a country would be generous in Christmas time. And then there's Sweden, two Scandinavian countries. I don't countries think Germany. There. I don't think Germany. You don't Why not? think Germany? No. Because they're in the EU and there's probably rules against doing that. Within the EU, so if not, there will be. <clears throat> if not, there will be. Yes. Over the last few years, Norway has become a really expensive country. I'm just wondering. <laughs> Do you know you can wonder all you want? The truth is, we have no idea whatsoever. But, but, <laughs> but guys, you got fifty thousand pounds guaranteed. Yeah, it's worth. We've got to gamble it. You should yeah. play. 
Wait a minute. So we got, but we've got right. Okay, we're going to gamble this. So that's weird. You can't. Like, I mean, we'll you get, can't lose. Yeah, we've, can't got lose. Free, we've got free choice. It's good you explain this to me, Chris. I've explained it to you for good. four times. Good, You've good, been here. You've no good. idea. Good, good, good. <clears throat> right. Okay. Right. Do you think of Germany? No, I don't. I think EU rules that out. Do we think Switzerland? Possible? I think it's a possible. Right. Mm -hmm. Sweden, is it possible? Why would they put two Scandinavian countries in there? Why not put, like, Argentina there, whatever it is? So there's me thinking that it probably Eamon, could well be a Scandinavian... can I remind you, it's 25 past nine, I would like to get home for Christmas. Country. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, it could be, but... Mm, mm. No, it's more expensive than Sweden, though, I believe. Uh -huh. I think the people come from Sweden and Norway to shop now. Right. I know it's just Sweden to shop now. Right. Well, I like. Sure. It. Okay, I like your theory because. No. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for it, boss. Yeah, I do what I'm told. That's all I'm here for. That's fine. Right. Good play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, go for it. Go for Norway. Final answer. <laughs> We're out. You just won 75. <laughs> <laughs> So far, so good, and there's still everything to play for. Don't forget, you could still win half of all the cash won here tonight. It looks like a lot of cash, plus a selection of goodies. All you need to do is answer one question correctly, live at the end of the show. Lines do close after the break. Here are the details. <laughs> Welcome back to this live Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special. Competition lines are now closed, so please don't try to call after this. Just gone half past nine. So Alex and Eamon are flying. They're on £75,000. They have no lifelines left. How are you feeling, guys? Great. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. They were, they were tough old questions. Yeah. 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 So what's your, what's, your, uh, what's your strategy now, then? Well, we think this next question will be the hardest question in Christendom <laughs> there's ever been. Uh, but I think we're just very happy. It just means so much to the foundation and the work that they do for inner city poverty and inclusion and all the money that, that they raise. And, you know, I hope nobody thinks this is some sort of, you know, Manchester United charity. It's just a way of the club of getting funds to give out to anybody and everybody, no matter who you support, yeah. even city. Okay. Well, let's get anyone. Yeah. No, OK, listen, serious money, though, and you know... Take my for that one. <laughs> serious money, and I know right. you want to take the money, but you know that Sir Alex will take a lot of shifting. He will want to stay if there's any chance of getting more money. Um, you have £75,000. Question number nine of 12 is this. What name is given to the indentation on one side of a common brick? Newt. Frog. Toad. Tadpole. You know, I should know this. Straight away, this came to my mind. Yeah. Newt. Newt. That's Is that I what think. you think? Yeah. I think I it's Newt. That. Yeah. That's what came to me straight away. Yeah, I think it's and Newt. I know so many people who would know this. I know I'll have brothers who'll be shouting at the screen. And... Mm -hmm. <sighs> but Newt came to me straight away. Do you know it's Newt? Do you just think yeah, it's Newt? I think Newt? it's Newt, yeah. We'll be gambling. We'll be gambling. So. We could lose 25 grand here. You lose 25, you <coughs> couldn't win 75. Who can't do that yet? Yeah. You just jumped at me, so to speak. Do well, they do that? Told could have well, jumped uh, them. Usually, you should go with your instinct. That's, that's it's a long good. time since I've laid bricks, that's the thing. Yeah, you could, could be back to it, though. Huh? What do you think? What will the foundation be? They'll be saying, go for it. You want to play? Are they? Yes. I want to John get Carol you, yes. can, you can take the money, okay. you can play, but I, I need to we'll get go for it, boss, yeah? yeah? Go for it. Right I never go for it. I just think, I know we could lose 25 grand on this, but there's just something saying mute to me on this, and to all bricklayers out there, people in the building industry, if it's not right, I'm really sorry, but I think it's mute. Final answer. Final answer. A. A. I tell you that Becky and Kian uh, think it's frog. The right answer is frog. Oh, guys. Pretty good, though. What are we Pretty doing? good. What are we doing? They've won £50,000 to share between their charity and the viewer prize box. Happy Christmas to both of them. Give them a huge hand. Okay. Eamon Holmes. That's, That's Alex Ferguson.
very good. Thanks, well done. Thank you, guys. Well done. Cheers, Emma. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Right, let's meet our next pair. Please welcome Caroline Quentin and Carol Borderman. They are so excited. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. They were good, weren't they? They were, they were very good. Yeah. Well, that, that inspires you to go well yourselves. Well, I hope so. Well, you'd be good. You'd be good. Caroline and Carol are hoping to win lots of money for one of you at home and their chosen charities. Now, Caroline is playing for the Families for Children Trust, who help find new adoptive families to offer children stable and loving homes. Carol is playing for Flying Scholarships for Disabled People, who provide the opportunity to help disabled people realise their abilities by learning to fly. Now, you want more information on anything to do with tonight's show, but also particularly anything to do with tonight's charities, go to the website. Now, come on then, you two. They have all their lifelines, and for the first two questions, <gasps> they have 15 <laughs> seconds. We've got about less than 25 minutes. Let's yes. go. Question number one is this. In the UK, the 26th of December is widely known as what? Start the clock, 15 seconds. Karate Day, Judo Day, Tai Chi Day, Boxing Day. D-Boxing Day, final answer. You sound very confident, <laughs> Caroline. <laughs> yes! It's the right answer. Of course, you have 500, uh, you have 500 pounds. Ooh. Question number two is for £1,000. It is the last point at which you could go home with nothing. It won't happen. Be positive. You have all three lifelines if you need them. This will guarantee you £1,000. Have a look. Question number two, 15 seconds, is this. <laughs> David Suchet starred in which popular detective's final case on ATV last yeah. month? Start the clock. Inspector Morse, Hercule Poirot, uh, Sherlock Holmes, Miss Marple. Yeah, we know this, don't we? Yeah, we do. B. Final answer. Hercule Poirot. What do you say? Probably. Poirot. Poirot. Wow. Poirot. OK. We both watched it. Show it. off. We did. We loved uh, it. You have £1,000. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another guaranteed £1,000 for these two. And the next five questions, they'll have 30 seconds. I'm going to speed on for a bit before we chat. I want to get some money on this tree. You have uh, £1,000 guaranteed. Question number three is £2,000. You have all... Why are you looking at me like that, Carol? You keep peering. I'm just a bit thrilled to be here, actually. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> just kind of taking in the moment and thinking, I'm here looking at you. It's great. Well, good. We're, here, we're yeah. here looking at you. Yeah. Um, OK, you have £1,000. Question number three is for £2,000. We have 50-50, phone a friend. Ask the audience still there. Here it comes. <laughs> Prince Charles marked his 65th birthday recently by being guest editor of a commemorative issue of what magazine? 30 seconds. Country Life, Radio Times, Woman's Own, FHM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're going to go for um, A, Country Life, final answer. That was very nicely articulated. Thank you so much. My it pleasure. Right. It's the right answer. You have 2,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number four is for 5,000. You still have three lifelines. Have a look. It's gin. <laughs> yeah. Which English county is known as the Red Rose County? Carol's looking terribly pleased with us. <laughs> I'm a northern girl. <laughs> Don't say you are. Okay, start the clock. Devon, Lancashire, Essex, Cambridgeshire. Uh, definitely be Lancashire, Red Rose County. Final, Final answer. answer. It's the right answer. You've got five thousand pounds. <laughs> well, you were the first oh. ever celebrity when we first started doing way after we'd done Millionaire uh, for a few years. We started, and you were the first ever celebrity we had, and you were on your own, no helper. I was. I was on my own. Bless your heart. Yeah. You were very good. I did. Got how much? One hundred twenty-five thousand. I won back wow. in the day. Oh, let's do that. Tonight. I had a brain back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're it's a loose kind of woman. <laughs> you like being a loose woman. I love being a loose woman. You were born to be a loose woman. I definitely was. <laughs> <I suppose. laughs> yeah. What, Caroline? What are you doing Christmas? I'm going to my sister's um, for a vegetarian lunch. Are you a vegetarian? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are you going to have then? Delicious. It'll be nut roast, but but I I should probably not admit this on live television. But I will be cooking a turkey on Boxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> Can you enjoy it? I couldn't enjoy oh, it's, it. Oh, it's, honestly, it'll be utterly delicious. Yeah, but it, but it won't be a turkey. I know. I, it won't. It really won't be a turkey. Carol, what are you going to do? 
Because oh, oh, you, of course, you're celebrating your birthday. Yeah, Christmas Eve. Oh, Christmas, Christmas Eve. Carol, that's Uncle Carol. Happy oh. birthday and happy Christmas for, Thank for the next day. Thank you, yes. And so what are you going to do, a, a mountain Christmas for all of you? Uh, yeah, there's, oh, gosh, I don't know how many of us. There are 12, 15, something like that, at our house. So, because uh, I always have given a big Christmas. But Christmas Eve, now the kids are older, I just go... I think I'll do nothing on Christmas Eve. Mm, and I might just stay in bed all day and drink something, frankly. <laughs> It'll be a nice birth. Christmas Sounds good. Day, you'll be absolutely wasted. Yeah, probably. OK, right. <laughs> you have £5,000. Let's try and get you to concentrate. You have £5,000. Question number five is for ten grand. You have all three lifelines. Here it comes. How many sides or branches does a regular snowflake have? Start the clock. Four, six, eight, ten. Uh, B, six, final answer. Why are you so sure, Carol Vorderman? Um, because I think I studied it in maths somewhere along the line. <laughs> and we drew little snowflakes and things, yeah. Yeah. Caroline? Pretty sure. Seems right, seems right. Seems good. You I concur. You haven't a clue? No. <laughs> it's the right answer! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> OK, you have £10,000. You're racing up there, but have a good look at the next one. It's for yeah. £20,000. You have three lifelines. Use them if you need to. You haven't touched any yet. Question number six is this for 20 grand. In 2013... Uh, Alex would have liked this. Which of these teams qualified for the FIFA World Cup for the first time in its history? Start the clock. Romania, Ivory Coast, Mexico, Bosnia... Herzegovina. I would guess D, but I don't know. I think we should ask the audience. Let's ask the audience, please. Okay, right, stop the clock. You have 19 seconds. You can still phone a friend. You've still got time for a 50 50. No, right, not. audience, on your keypads again, please. Uh, this is the question. Yeah, it's worth £20,000 in 2013. Which of these teams qualified for the FIFA World Cup for the first time in its history? Now, A on your keypads is Romania, B is Ivory Coast, C is Mexico. D is Bosnia, Herzegovina, A, B, C, or D, all vote now. Be clever, audience. <coughs> 6% Romania, 7%, 6%, 81% are saying D. Right, restart the clock, what you can do? Carol, do the maths. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think we're definitely going with D, Bosnia, Herzegovina. Uh, Final answer. Please. Please be right, audience. Please be right. They are right. You've got 20,000. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a serious tournament. Oh, yeah. They're doing well, but can they go all the way? The next is the big one where they could lose 19 grand. Stay with us to find out. And one of you at home will get the chance to win big money tonight, live on air before 10 o'clock. Don't go away. Just said to me, this is the last part you'll ever do. I'll be all right. Welcome back to this live Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special. Now, as this is the final part, the klaxon could sound or stop the game. If that does happen, any question in play will be null and void. So, Carol and Caroline, very excited. They're on £20,000. They have two lifelines. Question number seven, last one against the clock, you two, is for £50,000. You do not have to play this question. You could take the money at any point. You could use both lifelines and still take the money. Question number seven of a possible 12 is this. At approximately how many miles an hour is the Earth travelling oh. around the Sun? We Start the clock last the time. 670, 6,700, 670,000 miles per hour. Uh, I'd like to phone a friend. Right, stop the clock. You'll have 20 seconds left. Who are your friends, Carol? Who have we got? OK, we have Professor Brian Ford, a scientist. <laughs> We have Richard Arnold, a well-known scientist. And we have Rory, <laughs> and and we have Rory Brenner. Brenner. And Rory Brenner, yeah. yeah. OK, who are you going to call? Uh, I think Brian Ford. I thought you one. might. Yeah. OK, uh, Carol, are you going to talk to him? Uh, yes, can I? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. OK, we'll phone him. Phone him. Now, don't forget, as always on these live shows, all the phone and friends have to be locked away somewhere in the dark so they have no idea what's happening or what point we are on the show, what the question is. Hello. 
Hello, Brian Ford. Hello, Brian. Chris Tarrant, good evening. Who wants to be a millionaire? How are you? Oh, you're the reason I've got a house with security guards. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I can explain that, but it'll all be worthwhile because for Caroline and Carol, it's worth £50,000. Good Lord. Exactly. Right. Next voice will be Carol. She'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. One is worth fifty grand, and then the security guards will go away. All right, Brian. Carol, lots of luck, darling. Your time starts now. Here you go, Brian. At approximately how many miles an hour is the Earth travelling around the Sun? Good God, I don't know. Well, let me give you some options. 670, 6,700, 67,000 or 670,000? Let me think. 93 million miles. Probably item, the, the final item, 600,000. 670,000? 670,000 miles an hour. Go, 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 go. That's all you got. Restart the clock. What do you want to do? Yeah. Uh, I thought it would be the largest one. It seems the most natural. Let you got 50, just, 50 I know. If you want Let it. me just have a little think. Six, do you want to go 50 50? No, I. You're running out of time. Let's go. Count? Yes, 50 50. Okay, stop the clock. You will only have five seconds. Right. Yeah. Computer, take away two random answers. Leave Caroline and Carol the right answer, the one remaining wrong answer. Ooh, just 6, as well. 6,767,000 means he's wrong. Ooh, start the clock. Yeah. We're going with C, final answer. 6, 7, Oh, I hope it's right, Caroline. I'm he sorry. was so certain as well, wasn't he? He's clearly wrong. Oh, Chris, don't... Don't! Just one fifty. <laughs> The fifty thousand oh. pound landmark. That's the minimum amount they'll share between oh. their charities and one lucky viewer. Right. No lifelines left from before, okay. but we now ditch the clock. Oh. But they do earn that extra uh, that extra switch lifeline, so they can swap the question they don't like. So you are now just five questions away from a million. I've got about eight minutes to try and get Keen oh. on as well. Have yeah. a look at question number eight. Here comes the question. At which of these stations are times on the departure boards one minute early, giving late passengers extra time to catch the train? <laughs> I don't know, I love it. These are the options. St Pancras, Grand Central New York, Gare du Nord, Antwerp Central. Let's switch question. We don't know, do we? We don't know. No, and um, we want to get Kin and Rebecca. So can we switch yeah. question, please? OK, let's get rid of it. I will tell you the right answer was actually Grand Central New York. Oh, right. Strange idea. OK, switch it. Here's the Good next idea. question. Good <laughs> idea. Which of the following is to be found at basement level in the Houses of Parliament? These are the options. Swimming pool, rifle range, cricket nets, bowling alley. What are you thinking, Caroline? Uh, I don't think it's a rifle range at all. I don't think it's a swimming pool. Cricket nets, possibly. I think it's C or D, but I really I, don't could it know. Be, could it but be... we've got to guess. Yeah, yeah, we have got to guess. And we're allowed to guess, aren't yes, we? We don't get penalised. You can't lose. You've got 50,000. That's guaranteed. Cricket nets. Yes. What? What? No. What do you think? I don't know. But when was bowling invented? It's an American thing, isn't it? Bowling alley. But is it? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, yeah. Let's just. I know. We're, we're up against it. Should we just? Should we? Should we guess? Yes. Should we guess C? Cricket. Yes. That's our. That's our final answer. You had fifty thousand pounds. Yeah. We've still got fifty. You've still got fifty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> the right answer, yeah. scarily, really? under the Houses of Parliament, is a rifle range. Yeah. Give them a big hand. They won fifty thousand pounds a year between their charities and that viewer prize box. Oh, that was hard. Caroline Quentin, <laughs> Carol Borderman, give them a big hand. Both of them. God bless them. Right. We've got about three minutes. Let's get our next team out. Fresh from the jungle, Becky Adlington and Kian Egan. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> well, the good news or bad news, you won't have to do long, guys. It's about <laughs> four minutes to ten. Becky and uh, Kian are hoping to win a stack of cash to share between one of you at home and their chosen charities. Becky is playing for uh, In Kind Direct, who provide a single contact point for companies with goods to donate to charities. And Kian is playing for the North West Hospice Island and LAP Research UK. They have the lifelines. Uh, for the first two questions, they have just 15 seconds. Lots of luck, you guys. Happy Christmas. Let's play let's go, let's Who go, Wants to go. Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Right, <laughs> see what we can do in a short amount of time. Uh, question number one is for £500. Here it comes, you'll have 15 seconds. Which of these might traditionally be left out as a gift for Santa on Christmas Eve? Start the clock. Glass of sherry, beer trimmer, long john, sat nav. A. Glass of sherry, yep. Yeah, A. Fine answer. Uh, it's the right answer. <laughs> 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 it's going to be sat nav, isn't it? has got a glass of milk. You know, okay. I can't really drink sherry. Question Why? number two for £1,000 guaranteed. You have three lifelines. Here it comes. Which of these is a common term for unsolicited email arriving in your inbox? Uh, Start the junk. clock. Litter, scrap, debris, junk. D, junk. Final, Final answer. answer? Yes. It's the right answer. You're quite a team. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. Final answer. Final answer. Five questions, Becky and Kian will have 30 seconds. Question number three for £2,000 is this. If you attended a Zumba class, what would you be doing? Start the clock. DIY, flower arranging, exercising... Answer C, exercising. C. Final, Final answer. answer. Final answer. <laughs> it's the right answer. Yeah, we already got how long? Yeah, three minutes. Quickest round ever. Good man. Question number four is for £5,000. You have three lifelines. Here it comes. 30 seconds. What's the question? Here it is. The official start of which famous race is known as Le Grand Départ? No Start idea. the clock. No idea. Entry Grand National, Monaco Grand Prix, Tour de France, London Marathon. Ask the audience. Right, stop the clock. You'll have 25 seconds. Audience. On your oh, audience. Hey, 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 hey. The official start of which race is known as Le Grand Départ? A, National. B, Monaco Grand Prix. C, Tour de France. B, London Marathon. A, B, C or D, all vote now. It's going to be Tour de France. I know, I know, but you're like, we don't we, have enough time to think about it. <laughs> Obviously, it's Tour de France. Now did you look at it. 79% are saying Tour de France, 14 Monaco, 6% Aintree, 1% oh, yes. London yeah. Marathon. They're a worry. We'd like to meet them. Uh, right, restart the clock. What are you going to do, guys? Uh, Tour de France. Final answer. answer. It's the right answer. You've got 5,000 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Well, we might get one more. Question number five oh, is for 10,000 pounds. We can do this. Come on, here's the question. Lily Allen recently covered which bands here? I bet you know this, kid. Somewhere Only We Know for the 2013 John Lewis Christmas ad campaign. These are the options. Start the clock. Blue, Keen, Elbow, Coldplay. Uh, it's either Keen or Coldplay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 50-50. OK. Computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Keen and Becca the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Keen or Elbow? Somewhere Keen. Restart the clock. You've got 23 seconds. I'm really not sure. You got 15 seconds. I'm absolutely you... guessing. We're completely and utterly guessing at this. <laughs> I know the song. I don't think it's Elbow. I, I don't know. You said Keen. You got or... nine seconds. Okay, B, Keen, final answer. Let's guess. It's wrong. Keen. Oh! I will tell you that was the right answer. <laughs> Ten grand. That gets us in the viewer prize pot in their charity. Becky Adlington and Kian Egan. Right, guys, stay there now. This is where Christmas starts for one of you at home. I will tell you the viewer prize pot total stands now at fifty-five grand. So tonight's caller has been randomly selected from all those who entered. Let's find out who's on the line with a chance to win. Right, I've got Joseph Maguire on the line from Watford. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Kit. How are you, mate? Serious Hi. money to be won. Right, all you have to do is answer one question correctly. You have four options to choose them and 30 seconds to answer once I've read the question. You must say final answer to me. All right, mate. Yes, Chris, I will say final answer. OK, here's the question. Uh, yes, Chris, I will say final okay, answer. OK, here's the question. What kind of Christmas is Bing Crosby dreaming of in the classic song? Quiet, please, audience. These are the options. 30 seconds. Cosy, white, festive, happy. White Christmas. Final, Final answer. answer. Joseph. 
Yes. You've just won £55,000! And a whole sack full of Christmas, Christmas presents! Joseph, happy Christmas! It's chaos here in the studio. Joseph, what do you do for a living? Unemployed. You do what? Unemployed at the moment. So 55 grand plus all those toys for all your kids is pretty handy, isn't it, matey? Yeah, very nice. Thank you very much. OK. Listen, from all of us, happy Christmas. What a great night. We're back in the new year, so until then, from all of us on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, have a very happy Christmas. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. With holidays we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Now bring us something he put in. Now bring us something he put in. Now bring us something he put in. And a crop of good cheer. Good tidings we bring. In the final programme of the year, Scotland Tonight is looking back over the highs and lows of 2013. That's at 10.30 after the news. Sofa Carpet Specialist SCS sponsors Christmas.